Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Sukhvinder. So right now on this video, I will explain you how to use the Google Camera Portrait app to save all your photos and videos captured through that app on the SD card of your phone. Basically, as everyone of us know that Google Camera app doesn't save your photos directly to your SD card because there is no option in the app, app menu to set that. Uh, since Google Pixel phone was uh, basically having no SD card slot, so that's the reason I think developers have not provided any option to save the photos and videos captured on that app to your SD card. But today, I'll help you on doing that stuff very easily. Uh, for that, you know, basically there are, there are various uh, softwares and apps available on the internet like folder mount, various, uh, I don't know, I have searched a lot on the internet but I was only getting this app that is folder mount. I tried that app on my Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 but that didn't work. I don't know, might be I'm on the custom ROM, that's why it might be not working. I'm on the EEX custom ROM, as you can see from my phone screen, it's AEX custom ROM. So I like this ROM a lot because it's having a lot of configuration options, uh, which I uh, like a lot. Like uh, there is this dark menu layout, and there are a lot of exciting stuff to be you know configured with. So I won't be talking about this ROM anymore as of now because I am currently uh, creating this video for the Google Camera app. So uh, let's start. I'll show you how to do that. So friends, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, practically on a phone okay so the basic requirement here is you should have magisk as a root method for your phone as you can see my phone is on a custom rom i have installed aex custom rom on my phone so i'll show you uh, magisk installed on my phone so wait a minute let me open up magisk for you So as you can see, Magisk is installed on my phone and the module which I was uh, talking about is, uh, I'll show you on my modules pack. You can go in the downloads section and the name of the module is TS-Binds. As you can see on my phone screen, the module is already installed. So for your case, you'll have to install that. So I'll show you what it does. See, it says TS binds binds to different folders on a device so that both folders share the same contents. So it's saying that you will have two folders which will be mirrored in your case. Okay, but the thing is, uh, the mirroring will not copy the files on both places. It will be only in the destination folder. Like for in my case, it will be destination folder is SD card slot. Once it is installed, you will see the same from your modules folder that I can see uh, it is uh, installed there. Once you install the TS binds uh, module, you can see it from your modules tab. So friends, whenever you install a Magisk module, it is always recommended to reboot your phone because it won't work in without rebooting. Uh, also, if your phone is not rebooted, you will always see a notification just below the module that your phone requires a reboot. So just reboot your phone for the module to take effect. So uh, now I'll show you how to configure this module. For this, you can use any file manager of your liking. In my case, I use Explore File Manager because I like it a lot. It's very easy to navigate and very easy to operate. So using your file manager, you will have to go to your internal phone memory and the root of your phone memory. You will see a file named TS binds folder list.txt you have to edit that file uh, where all the configurations saved there okay syntax cloud. so you can see from the file what's the syntax of the configuration so on this configurations file you can see in my case i have already configured two folders one is the camera folder and the other one is call recording folder so the configuration is this way the syntax is folder bind space your name of the, whatever name you want to put for your particular configuration space under inverted commas just mention dollar sd slash whatever your folder is present on your sd card means your first will be your destination and the second one will be your source 
so in my case for example you can see the camera folder okay so it's folder bind space camera the camera is a name you can put any name there and then is your destination that is your uh, memory card so in my case it's dollar sd slash dcim and my source is a dollar int slash dcim means from my internal storage the files will be copied to the sd dcim okay so after configuring your uh, configuration file you'll have to reboot your phone because once rebooted then only it comes into effect so for example i'll show you how does it work in my case i'll show you if i'll copy some file to uh, dcim folder it will also get copied to my memory card and you will see there is no copy taking place on my internal memory card means internal memory sorry so in my case uh, you will have to notice one thing that my internal memory is having only 19 gb free and my external sd card is having 79 gb of free space so in my case if i'll copy something to internal storage there should be no space change for that so i'll show you that so in my case i have created a twrp backup of my phone which is around 3.5 gb uh, what i'll do is i'll just copy this folder to dcim internal storage okay so you can see the path where i'm copying this folder to its uh, sd card dcim so this sd card is my internal memory so uh, you, as you can see the copying is just starting and wherever it is copied to there should be a decrease of 3.7 gb of space in that particular uh, storage okay so let it complete uh, then i'll show you so it is almost complete and uh, uh, once it is complete i'll show you on my internal storage and let me go there to my internal storage Uh, so as you can see now that for my internal space there is no change of space or decrease of space but from external you can see the space has decreased now so this means my file is copied to my sd card that is external storage not to internal storage so whatever files you see on my internal storage are just links to that external storage so you can see the benefit of using this so in if you are a person who takes a lot of videos and captures a lot of photographs from your uh, phone camera and you are using that google camera app basically which doesn't have that option so what it will help you with is you will not never go out of your internal space uh, out of st uh, storage okay so uh, the thing is uh, like in my case i put on a 128 gp card so i'll have never an issue with space for capturing any photographs or videos uh, so friends, uh, I have uh, brought this uh, trick after a lot of rich research on how to use it and if it is working or not. So hope it might help on on many of our, our friends who are means willing to uh, save or use that Google camera app to save the photographs or, or videos or any other app because it will work virtually for any other app. So thanks for uh, watching my video please subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, put a not notification on so that when i bring a uh, new tricks or uh, tips you can just see thank you friends